How does sound healing work on the level of the mental healing? Well, it is mentally relaxing. That's where, that's where music therapy has had its whole field of research and discovery. They have discovered and they have proven it, that people like proof that using music as therapy helps to really relax the mental aspects of the person. That mentally, it's very good for just soothing, releasing anxiety, depression, uh, all the states of the mind that the psychologists address. They have determined that music is a way to heal and to do that. And music is just sound healing uh, formalized. Right? It's formalized in a certain structure, it's replicated in a certain way, and that's why they've done research on it. They play a certain symphony, they play the Brandenburg concertos, and you know, think people's brain change, they need to see this. So it's the same way with sound healing. The brain changes. And not only that, with properly played sound healing, and I know this especially with the gong, the mind has no choice but to let go of its games. The mind stops its, its mental gymnastic, its thinking all the time, trying to understand things, analyze things, talk back to ourselves. The scripts that we run over and over in our heads, the mind is so busy. When it hears the right sound, when it's working with sound, it's, it's fascinated, it's enchanted, it's entranced, it's hypnotized. And it lets go of all its old agendas for a while at least. And you have mental relaxation, profound mental relaxation. This is a unique thing for many people to experience. And that's why sound healing initially for people is so profound. The physical relaxation, the mental relaxation. But ultimately, the relaxation we're all trying to reach is spiritual relaxation. You now, the existential pain of being incarnated, of having to be in time and space with a body, to be limited. So what sound healing can do, properly played, and I've seen this with the gong, properly played, is that it allows you to take you to another realm of consciousness, to even, to a certain extent, disassociate with the physical body and the active mind, and, the, and also with the five senses. So for, so for hearing, right? Hearing is the only sense that is used. That's the interesting thing about working with sound is that hearing is the only sense that's engaged in the, hear, in the healing process. So you're almost disassociated from sens the sensory world and sensory input. You see this a lot with, with yoga nidra or gong nidra, with the sensory association that brings us into um, unease, disease, and pain is removed. And all that's left is just the sound. So with the spiritual aspect of sound healing, what it does, it allows us to realize we are more than just this body. We are more as just being limited in time and space. There are realms you can go in a sound healing session that goes beyond time. And people oftentimes say, you know, gosh, I can't believe that lasted for 45 minutes. It seems like I was just lying down for 10 minutes and it's over. Because why? Because for a moment, for a moment in time, you are out of time. You got to step out of time. You got to step back to that eternal now. That is the province of the soul and be there. What a great place to be able to play in. And you had the soundtrack to get you there. So that's what's occurring. Relaxation, profound relaxation in physical, mental, and spiritual creates the opportunity. Not the, not the guarantee, right? Because it creates the opportunity for healing. Because remember, healing is always coming from within not from the modality or from the healer. It's always coming from within. So that's what sound healing can allow you to do is to tap in and to connect to that energy you already have and let the healing begin from that point. So that's the, uh, that's the properties of sound that heal, right? The player, the intention, the one who's receiving it, and uh, the nature of the sound itself. Because we obviously know not all sound is going to heal, right? There's some sound that's very discordant that will actually that will actually injure you. There's some sounds that will actually create disease. In fact, people who live around certain sounds all their lives, they tend to have uh, more heart attacks, you know, lot shorter lifespans. So we know that sound can also be destructive as well as being restructive or healing as well. So that's why when you're thinking, you're talking about healing and sound, you have to understand that it's the, the, the certain sounds that are healing. <laughs>